One of humanity's greatest questions has always been, are we alone in the universe? From ancient myths to modern science fiction, we've been captivated by the possibility that life exists beyond Earth. Even thousands of years ago, humanity dreamed of traveling to the stars. Today, in our hyper-connected world, we're surrounded by stories of extraterrestrial life. Whether it's government footage of unexplained phenomena or blockbuster films that push our imaginations to the limit. But beyond all the noise, for the first time in history, our wonder is beginning to meet real evidence. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are seeing the universe with a clarity that no human generation has known before. The JWST isn't just showing us distant worlds, it will be able to analyze their atmospheres. Imagine detecting an atmosphere similar to Earth's. That's mind-blowing. That would be nothing short of the holy grail of astronomy. Imagine finding signatures of life on a distant world. Not science fiction, not speculation, our celestial cousins in our lifetime. An answer we've been searching for since the beginning of time. Here's the truth for those who do believe in science. How will you feel when the first confirmed exoplanet with an atmosphere similar to Earth is discovered? But then what? Even when the time does come and we discover a world like Mother Earth, they will be light years away. So I guess we're not going to be there anytime soon. Sadly, that's a good thing because we are not ready for the stars. We have a lot of growing up to do as a species I believe that the original creator designed the universe to be this way on purpose. A civilization that can travel the stars surely would have the technology to overcome all the problems facing our world today. Maybe the distance from one star to another is a kind of cosmic safeguard, a boundary if you will, a chance for us to mature before we meet whoever might be out there. We can only imagine what kinds of life may exist on these worlds. Creatures shaped by alien skies, different stars, and unfamiliar oceans. And perhaps that's the point. By the time we unlock technologies like warp drive or interstellar travel, we will hopefully have grown wiser, kinder, more unified as a species. Maybe giving us glimpses of ET from afar without immediate contact is the universe's way of preparing us. Behold, a cosmic prime directive that's guiding us to evolve into something better. Until then, all we can do is look upward, imagine, and prepare ourselves for the day when we finally meet our neighbors among the stars.